you'll sleep rather soundly for a murderer. That's good. You'll need a clear conscience for what I'm about to propose. In due time, dear child. In due time. First, an introduction. I am Lucian the Chance, speaker for the Dark Brotherhood. And you? You are a cold-blooded killer, capable of taking life without mercy or remorse. The Night Mother has been watching, and she is most pleased. And so, here I am. I come to you with an offering an opportunity to join our rather unique family. So, I have your rapt attention. Splendid. Now listen closely. On the green road to the north of Breville lies the Inn of Ill Omen. There you will find a man named Rufio. Kill him and your initiation into the Dark Brotherhood will be complete. Do this, and the next time you sleep in a location I deem secure, I will reveal myself once more, bearing the love of your new family. No, the Night Mother seems to think otherwise. Allow me to grant you a gift, in case you reconsider. It is a virgin blade, and thirsts for blood. Now, I bid you farewell. I do hope we'll meet again soon. Your path is clear. Send Rufio to his death, and the Dark Brotherhood will embrace you as well. Oh, there goes my controller. You know what he's speaking about, right? When I killed the Grey Prince, it said in the top right hand corner, I was, that was watched by the forces unknown. This is what it was. And I've been talking about it in some videos about doing this. Finally am, because I finally need to level up, but that's not the point. The point is, I did feel for the Grey Prince. I didn't want him to not fight me. But the people, Cyrodiil, cheered me on anyway. And that part sucks the worst. Oh, hello. Welcome. If you wish to. Now, I. I know that there's nothing I can do about this. I'm gonna have to be a Dark Brotherhood person. Even though in Skyrim. I kind of like butchered them all. I'm supposed to be the exact opposite of a murderer. But he did catch my attention by saying something about cold blood or something, which reminds me to tell you to stay frosty. I'm just kidding. Not yet. Not yet. I think it's funny how this says a knife in the dark, and there's a mission, uh, actually a quest in Skyrim that's called a blade in the dark, which is also a pun because of the blades and how Delphine was a blade. Oh, and you're probably wondering why I don't show any of the, um, be able to join the Mages Guild quests. I think it's just a waste of videos. There's plenty of those on YouTube. All you have to do is go anywhere. I saw this guy that went over to Reville. He's right here from the Imperial City. Literally, you can take one of these routes and just walk there. Or you can just fast travel there. Uh, all you have to do is talk to, around here, this gate. They'll have someone and then just wait for a girl to go to her desk. And that's literally all you have to do. And, but as soon as I am part of the Imperial Arcane University, I will show some of that. But, I don't, there's no need for this.
Well, no need for this, as in no need for the Mage's Guild quest. Barely thought of that. Sorry about that. Okay. Actually, I've got a better idea. So, now heed these words. The slaying of Rufio is the signing of a covenant, the matter of execution, your signature, Rufio's blood, the ink. As a speaker of the Black Hand, I directly oversee a particular group of family members. You will join that group and fulfill any contracts given. You must now go to the city of Chaden Hall, to the abandoned house near the east. You will be asked a question. We must now take our leave of you. You are now one with the Dark Brotherhood, the visible Jiva, and the Chaden Hall Central. Alright, Chaden Hall it is. Alright, this is the house. It's right next to this huge house right here. And it's pretty noticeable because the cobblestone is gone, the gate has been broken, and the, 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 the door is boarded up. I have to make sure no one looks while I try helplessly to pick the lock. That was actually pretty surprising to me, because I'm terrible at lock picking. Go in here. And uh, there's this wall right here that's broken obviously you can see that and here's the whispering door the huh. I thought he'd say something else but... sanguine my brother I thought it was silence my brother I'm probably thinking about Skyrim though. Sanguine? Sanguine? But he's a Daedra. I think that's pretty cool. That's kind of stalkerish. Not stalker, but just creepy. Greetings, brother. Greetings. I am Oshiva, mistress of this sanctuary. Lucian has told me all about you. You stand now in our sanctuary. When you are ready for work, go and speak with Vicente Valtieri. But before you go, please accept this gift from your new family. Now, I've kept you long enough. Go Thanks now to your family member and use it, because I'm heavy armor guy. But what? Welcome, brother. So good to finally meet you. Okay. You're nice. Good luck, brother. I hope you don't get killed. <laughs> I mean, you are... Uh, um, Argonian. I wish to welcome you to this sanctuary, my newest brother. Do you not value our secrets? Yes, yes, of course I value our secrets, and I've never betrayed them. But using stealth to kill, it's just so weak. Huh? But brother, what of the contracts that require subtlety? You must at least strive to earn the bonuses that are offered. Bonuses? <laughs> Useless, I say. Gold and magical trinkets are no substitute for the freedom to slaughter anyone I please, mm. at any time. Oh, Gokran, <laughs> your methods may be crude, but your heart is always in the right place. It there you are. Welcome. 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 You and I are one of the same. Heavy armor and... Uh, hang on. And two-handed weapons! Now, let's see if you're a meanie to me as well. If it isn't the newest member of the family, let's get one thing straight. The tenants prevent me from killing you, but I don't have to like you. I'll sell you equipment, but only because Ochile is making me. This family doesn't need any outsiders. Okay. Fair enough. 
foul-smelling ape. Oh, that's that overdoes it. I wish I could kill him already, but my time will come. You want to see something that looks trippy? I'm gonna get a torch out for you guys. Torch. All right. Watch this. Excuse me, brother. Can you spare a moment? Good. Tell me that isn't trippy. Oops. Uh, ah, here you are. You have quite so a good to finally meet you. That's oh, yeah. nice. Warmest greetings to you. I trust you've already spoken with Ochiva. Please do not let my appearance unnerve you. Now, if you're ready to get to work, I can provide you with your first contract. A contract is a secret. A contract. Pity. I'm eager to see how you fare on your first assignment. Some contracts are straightforward. Find the target, eliminate them, then return to the sanctuary. No time limits or complications. However, many of our clients request that their contract be carried out in a specific manner, a certain place, a certain method of elimination. We try to honor these requests whenever possible. After all, the Dark Brotherhood's reputation has been built on providing good service. Any brother or sister who can complete a contract while following a specific request. Yeah, all right. Okay. Excellent. Board the ship and find its captain. Yes. The pirates have been moving. Oh. I always forget the, the first quest. Let's not waste time. Hang on. I have to talk to him about this since I'm supposed to be a vampire already. I was stricken with vampirism 300 years ago, while on an expedition deep into the ashlands of Vardenfell. For nearly a hundred years I hunted in secret, until the Dark Brotherhood found me. Now I have a family that accepts and even values my unique gift. Spill some blood for me, dear brother. Just glad you came out of all unscathed. Not that I doubted your abilities, but you know me, I worry. Right. Well, my contract's away. Alright. I love sneaking aboard. Oh, no, I keep forgetting. So, my other character you probably saw in my loads of, of um, other saves in other videos. Heron Blaze, he's supposed to be, like, the opposite of me. I'm a cold guy, stay frosty. He's supposed to be warm or hot. Khajiit's like... Well, they're born from the warm sands of elsewhere, so he's more of a pyromaniac. I'm a mage. He's a like a barbarian kind of, but I'm the heavy armor two-handed, and he's the light armor one-handed. Yeah, that's funny. I just realized we're both blades. Oh no, actually, he does use daggers sometimes, but he prefers his hands. Uh, hand to hand is his specialty. It was funny because the the other Blaze family in Skyrim, Lewis Blaze, is a pack rat like how I am in Oblivion. This guy. So, but that was kind of funny. So is this it? Yeah. Okay. Well, this just makes it the perfect time, doesn't Please it? Please deny my righteous acts. Oh, are you ready? Right, that's my box. Yeah, hide and create. Good at stealth. I'm telling you, man, it's bad luck. Woman on board a pilot. Hello? Who's there? Well, I tried. <laughs> hey, I can spin too. <laughs> Enough. Yeah.
You ain't one of me crew. What business you be having here, mate? Yeah. That was easier than I thought. Captain! Captain Pistola, are you alright, sir? We... we heard a clamor, Captain. We're coming in. Nope. You're going in, and I'm going out. Hasta la vista. Alright, I think it's safe to fast travel. One of my favorite missions. So, the pirate has been eliminated. Excellent. No one will mourn his passing, and Sithis has been appeased. Please accept this black band as your reward. Let's see what it does. Hmm. I don't need it. <laughs> I'm glad you've returned. We need you to stage an accident. As I expected. Good. On the second floor is a secret door leading to a crawl space. Loosen those fastenings any night between 8pm and 11pm and the head will surely fall on Banelin as he relaxes in his chair. If Banelin is eliminated in any other manner, or if the manservant Grom is killed, you will forfeit the bonus. In the next episode, that's what we'll be doing. As soon as I'm on the other side of this door, which I am, I bid you, I stay frosty. This is Thunder Iceberg signing out.